positively, Tampa Bay, everyone. Lisette Campos is off this week. This month is Sexual Violence Awareness Month, and this morning we're talking about Take Back the Night. This is something that started as a standalone event in the 70s, and it's become an all-out movement, empowering survivors and raising awareness. Joining me now, live here in studio, Amanda Brennan, Victims Advocate with the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay. Amanda, thank you so much for being here. Um, now in its 12th year here in the Tampa Bay area, for anyone who's not familiar, what is Take Back the Night? Take Back the Night is an interactive event. It um, brings together the community and survivors of sexual violence. So it's an awareness event. We talk a lot about what is sexual violence, the impacts, the risk, and what resources are available. But it's also an empowerment event. So we strive to create a safe environment to empower survivors to be able to get on stage and find their voice and share their story. And we're looking at some video now from years past. Again, now in its 12th year, you were telling me this event really grows and grows every single year. I want to talk about uh, 90 minutes of this called Survivor Speak, correct? Mm -hmm. The Survivor Speak Out, yes. The Survivor Speak Out. Tell me about this powerful 90 minutes. So during the Survivor Speak Out, we open the mic up to everyone in the audience and survivors can come up on stage and share their story of hope and resiliency. Last year, I had several women come up to me who I'd never met. They gave me a hug. They thanked me for organizing the event and told me that they'd never told anybody their story before. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely impactful to be able to watch someone walk on stage a victim and leave a survivor. And I think that message of hope and resiliency spreads through the community and through the audience that's there that night. And certainly a result, too, like you were saying, of creating the safe environment where survivors feel like they can get up mm -hmm. and talk about this. Um, is there a need for this as far as you know raising awareness I mean what do you see day in day out at the crisis center of you know people coming in needing help is there a need for knowledge out there about this there is absolutely a need for knowledge about this um, I think that we're making great strides and in commu communicating with the community and educating but people still don't know that we're out there as a crisis center they don't know that there's a place you can go to for support that there's a 24-hour hotline if you need it um, they also don't know what victim blaming is and they don't know what rape culture is and so teaching people how to interact with survivors and to believe survivors um, I think that's it's very needed still and and like you were saying I mean this is a place where so many of these resources are gathered in one place I mean this is something the crisis center you know takes part in but it, it takes a lot in the community different you know entities to really put this together and bring all these resources together yes we have um, over 90 different agencies that help put on this event um, and it's a great it's a great resource for survivors and even for the community we know that one in six women and one in 33 men will fall victim and so chances are we know a survivor if we are not a survivor ourselves Amanda real quick before I let you go uh, give me th the specifics where when so people know exactly where to go to take part and take back the night take back the night will be on April 26th in Curtis Hickson Park it will begin at 4 p.m. from 4 p.m. to 6 will be the music fest and the ceremony will begin after that